For this problem, I'll start by treating it as a homogeneous differential equation. We'll have y double prime plus 2 times y prime plus y is equal to 0. So the auxiliary equation will be m squared plus 2 times m plus 1 is equal to 0. This will factor to m plus 1 squared is equal to 0. So the two factors, m1 and m2, are both going to be equal to negative 1. So the complementary solution, yc, is going to be in the form c1 times e to the m1x plus c2 times x times e to the m2x. So yc is going to be equal to c1 times e to the negative x plus c2 times x times e to the negative x. Now that we have yc, we can find yp. g of x was given as sine x plus 3 times cosine 2x. If you remember, whenever we have a sine or cosine term, we have to include both a sine and a cosine in our yp. So from the sine x term, we'll have a cosine x plus b sine x. We'll have to do the same thing for this cosine 2x term because it has a 2x on the inside instead of just an x. So this will be plus d times cosine 2x plus e times sine 2x. Now that we have yp, we can take the derivative to find yp prime. This will be equal to negative a times sine x plus b times cosine x minus 2d times sine 2x plus 2e times cosine 2x. We can take the derivative again to find yp double prime. This will be equal to negative a times cosine x minus b times sine x minus 4d times cosine 2x minus 4e times sine 2x. The original differential equation was given as y double prime plus 2 times y prime plus y is equal to sine x plus 3 times cosine 2x. Because yp is a solution to this differential equation, we can plug in yp, yp prime, and yp double prime into this differential equation. yp double prime was negative a times cosine x minus b times sine x minus 4z times cosine 2x minus 4e times sine 2x. I'll have plus 2 times nyp prime was negative a times sine x plus b times cosine x minus 2d times sine 2x plus 2e times cosine 2x. And lastly, it was plus yp, which was a times cosine x plus b times sine x plus d times cosine 2x plus e times sine 2x. And that was all equal to sine x plus 3 times cosine of 2x. Some of these terms will cancel. We have a negative a cosine x and a positive a cosine x. They will cancel. We have a negative b sine x and a positive b sine x. Those will cancel. Some of these terms will combine. We have a negative 4 d cosine 2x and a positive d cosine 2x. So it will be negative 3 times d times cosine 2x. We also have a negative 4e sine 2x and a positive e sine 2x. They'll combine to get a negative 3 times e times sine 2x. We can distribute this 2 to all those terms. We'll get minus 2a sine x plus 2b cosine x minus 4d sine 2x plus 4e cosine 2x. And that'll all be equal to sine x plus 3 times cosine 2x. We can now compare coefficients. I'll compare the coefficients of sine x. On the left, we have a negative 2a, and on the right, it's just 1. So I'll set negative 2a equal to 1, and a will be equal to negative 1 half. I'll compare the coefficients of cosine 2x. On the left, we have a negative 3d and a positive 4e, and on the right, we just have 3. So it'll be negative 3d plus 4e is equal to 3. I'll compare the coefficients of sine 2x. On the left, we have a negative 3e and a negative 4d. And on the right, we have nothing, so it'll be 0. We'll get negative 3e minus 4d is equal to 0. Here we have two equations with two unknowns, so we know we can solve for a solution. Negative 3e will be equal to 4d. All I did was add the 4d to the other side. I'll divide both sides by negative 3. So e is equal to negative 4 thirds d. I can plug that into here for e. We'll get negative 3d plus 4 times 4 over negative 3 times d is equal to 3. I'll multiply 3 to all the terms. We'll get negative 9d minus 16 times d is equal to 9. So it'll be negative 25d is equal to 9. 
where d is equal to negative 9 over 25. I'll plug this d into this e equation. So e will be equal to negative 4 thirds times negative 9 over 25. This 3 in the bottom will cancel the 9. So e will be equal to 12 over 25. Now there's one last coefficient to compare. It's cosine x. On the left we have 2b, and on the right we have 0. So 2b is going to be equal to 0. So b is just going to be equal to 0. I'll write yp again. It was a times cosine x plus b times sine x plus d times cosine 2x plus e times sine 2x. b was 0, so we don't have a sine x term. yp will be equal to a was negative 1 half. So it'll be negative 1 half times cosine x. d was 9 over 25. So it'll be minus 9 over 25 times cosine 2x. And e was positive 12 over 25. So it'll be plus 12 over 25 times sine of 2x. As we found earlier, yc was equal to c1 times e to the negative x plus c2 times x times e to the negative x. And the general solution y is given as yc plus yp. So y is going to be equal to yc, which was c1 times e to the negative x, plus c2 times x times e to the negative x, plus yp, which was negative 1 half times cosine x, minus 9 over 25 times cosine 2x, plus 12 over 25 times sine of 2x. And that is our final answer. If this video helped you, consider subscribing.